Cybertron Commander class, and it's the first time having a box where the boxer is on the front and the side. Now you can see it looks like that foot and that missile is the Commander class. Just kidding. Time to show you the box. I am super excited about this, by the way. Well, totally yeah. excited about Jetfire because I wanted this as a kid. So go ahead. Finally fulfilling his dream. So here's the front. Eyes close view there. Side, coming to cast, you can see. Then one of that other box for it, you can see per his foot. The side. And then the back. Now, some of you might be thinking, like, see this version of Jetfire right here? You, some of you may be thinking, oh, that's just the armored version of of Jetfire, but no, that's actually um Bondi version of Jetfire. The Bondi version? Yeah, which is the very first version of Jetfire. From where? J Japan. And that was the toy version, of course, that Hasbro acquired back in the 80s. Now, as a kid, I grew up watching G1 starting in 1984, that's how old I am. And I remember distinctly the Jetfire toy and then watching the cartoon and seeing Skyfire. Sorry to blow the lid off of that, but I was wondering why the heck was that a different name? So we'll discuss that a little bit. Um, of course, there's some great videos out there if you guys want to check out other content about going into the history about that, but we'll talk about it a little bit. And too. of course, you G1 fans know this one who watched the G1 show. Yeah, sorry to blow that up, but that's exactly what he's getting at, is when you look at the uh, the picture here, that look right there is the original Jetfire look from the toy series. Looking at this with the face, that's actually the Skyfire look from the animated series. Um, and Jetfire, because he changed his name two times in the show. Yeah, eventually, I think later on, um, they did, but that wasn't until much later, right? Yeah. But originally, yeah, on the cartoon, Skyfire. And he looked like dude with the face, Jetfire toy. It was always a point of confusion, but I didn't care. I thought he was awesome. I knew as a kid, and I didn't know anything about the whole Bandai Takara thing going on in Japan. I just knew that Transformers were awesome. And I also knew, I said, you know, this guy looks, or the toy looked a lot like Robotech. I remember Robotech as a kid too. Well, that's Rise because Bondi, I believe, is the one that came out with the Robotech toys, right? Yeah, I think so. So, cool. Uh, we're we're going to unbox this? Yep, well, he is because we're fulfilling his dream. He's going to let me unbox this, so I'm super happy about that. But I'll um, just notice, first of all, that on the box, they don't have the typical plastic display showing the toy. Um, I don't know if that's the larger ones that are doing that now, but. Who cares? We're going to take a look at this. Or, and it doesn't have the curve, see? Or the curve, the curvature, yes, that's right. And it has two parts of the artwork. Ooh, I can't wait to see this guy. So close to victory. is killing us. I can't wait to open it. Wow. I don't want to show you. Just kidding. You ready? And there you have it. That's the box. What are we looking at here? Whoa! Wow! It looks so much more impressive. And it even comes with I think I, I think I kind of get it now. I, this is just me thinking out loud. Why they uh, didn't have the little window in the front because when you open that box, come on. I don't know if this does, if you get the impression of this when you're seeing it in person, but uh, I hope the video does it justice. That's incredible. I need to see this. 
Take a look at that beauty. I gotta take some photos of this. And it even comes with blast effects here. So I'm gonna be posting some of the stuff up on our Twitter page, our Instagram, sharing. Yeah, look at that stuff. But let's do a couple of in the box pictures here. You ready? This beauty. Release the jet fire. Something is still. Oh, it's his back. His backpack. There we go. Whoa. Holy guacamole. That is incredible. Just what what a worthy Transformer figure this is. Where's the box? Where's the, box? The, the original box right here. I need to look at something. Um, Yo! This is great. The articulation is, is good. The glory of this. And I, I love the uh, the ratcheting joints. Um, I gotta say, not to get into the review too heavily here. Did you say ratchet? Ratcheting joints. The, you, know, you hear that clicking sound? I'm calling I'm... that ratcheting. I like that. It makes them stay put. He doesn't quite able to go all the way up. But that's okay. But it's still, oh, this actually does that. Yeah, so you can make it go forward. Kind of makes up. Yeah, it makes up for the difference. So see, when you close your hand. It actually brings up a little hole to hold the weapon. Nice. See that hole in there? In the hand? So, not many of you might know this, but see this Autobot symbol? Let me see if there's... Let me get a... closer. See that Autobot symbol? Right there. Yeah. There's a trick. See that? Moving it? You can turn it backwards to a Decepticon symbol. Because in the original G1 show, he was first a Decepticon known as Skyfire, an evil genius Decepticon. He's a scientist, right? Yeah. But then he eventually became an Autobot because he noticed the Decepticons were evil. And I thought the, the fleshed out story was that he was friends with Starscream back on Cybertron. Yeah. Okay. Alright. That is so cool. Now, and then he was frozen and the Decepticons had to He uh, encountered some kind of storm as they were approaching Earth and, and then he, froze. he crashed. Of course Starscream being the punk that he was left him there. So should we put him into the um, Bandai? Bandai. Bandai. Let's turn him into the Bandai version. Which to me is the original G1 version. And I think it's better version. Because he's stronger. Look at all these weapons. Like, oh, these are cool. I've never actually seen the blast effect uh, pieces. Take a look at that. I guess they attach into the uh, the robot. Wait, his battle mask is inside his new. That's chair. what I thought. Is that I was trying to figure how do we get this out? So apparently in this armor, you see that little thing in there. That is the ma mask. I'm assuming that's the mask. It is. How do we get that out? It's got to push from the. Oh, it's gonna push. Ah, ha. Ding, ding. Watch this. Ready? One, two, th I want them to see it, but you gotta push back up. And it pushes out. Watch. Here it comes. Push, you push this from behind. Oh, opens yeah, up and this mask it. comes out. Now you see this. That, this part actually goes up. Here. So where does this hook on? I, mean, I guess it just... Yeah. Uh, oh, that's pretty simple. Whoa. I need to put on his Go mask. ahead, do the honors. Oh god. Oh, there's just one little peg for that. That is awesome. Whoa. Bandai mode is totally better. I don't know. I'm, I like both. As, as someone who saw both... He looks stronger though. I was, if I had to choose, I'd go with the, the uh, Bondi or Bandai mode, Jetfire as I would call it, but I like both. Oh wait, yeah, I know where this goes now. It goes. Let's give them a look here real quick. So here he is now with his uh, chest armor and his mask, more representing his uh, original Jetfire toy mode. And then he has this part up here. Right or Robotech, as some of us remember. But mm. we're missing.
missing the second part of this. Are we? I don't know that we are. I think it's... There's another one of these. There's a couple here. Yeah. Oh, I see it. You see that little hidden peg right there? It's going to flip out. Oh, how did you flip it out? Let's share that with our viewers. The hidden peg there. That red thing? That thing pops out. Oh, here we go. Actually, if I hold it with my thumb and I move the wing off of it, kind of like so, it yeah. wants to come out. That goes there and then... Same thing with this guy. Let's do the same thing. So let's, let's extend the little wing tip, hold your thumb on it, and oh yeah, push back. And that reveals the uh, peg for the mount of the weapons. Cameron's dad just put it on like this, but I didn't realize he had to flip out these tabs right here. So I'm going to do that. So I did it wrong. Okay. Little tab detail there, you're right, and that probably will make it fit much better. Yeah, because... Nice little, nice catch there, Dabs. It goes into here. Whoops. Let zoom out. Aha! Excellent catch. Guess that's why you're the host of the show. Yep. So guys, we just showed off Jetfire. We unboxed him and we showed his Skyfire mode and we turned him into his Bandai mode. It was awesome. So bye guys for watching this on the Dabbershire Boom.